The country is moving into phase five of the government's economic reopening plan. And that's according to Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis, who also announced the relaxation of a number of restrictions, including a shorter curfew window beginning at 10 p.m. nightly, an extension of business hours to 8 p.m., and the resumption of indoor dining at most restaurants. While those changes came into effect immediately, there are other changes slated to take effect over the next few days. Public parks and beaches will be allowed to open on New Providence, Grand Bahama, Bimini, and on Paradise Island on June 29th. Gatherings greater than five people are prohibited. In other words, Mr. Speaker, though the beaches are open, there will be no beach parties. Gyms and spas may reopen on July 1st with the appropriate health and safety protocols approved by the Ministry of Health. As it relates to indoor dining, restaurants may allow indoor dining with a maximum seating capacity based on 50 percent occupancy. However, vendors at Arawak Key are still prohibited from using indoor facilities, according to the PM. Dr. Min has also announced new penalties for business owners who do not enforce the social distancing and safety policies. He said business owners can be fined, jailed, or have their establishments temporarily shut down. Meantime, private and public bus service may resume with 50 percent occupancy on July 1st. Taxi services may resume based on guidelines in the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation's Bahamas Tourism Readiness and Recovery Plan. Private and public bus services may resume with 50% occupancy based on guidelines in the Ministry of Tourism's Bahamas Tourism Readiness and Recovery Plan. When it comes to international travel, Minnis said Bahamians and residents are not required to take a COVID-19 test for short travel periods of 72 hours or less. However, he said upon return, a 14-day quarantine may be required based on a determination by the Ministry of Health. Negative COVID-19 tests are required for all visitors entering the country. Tests must be taken within a 10-day window before travel. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.